Untuk membahas menarik apa investasi sektor konstruksi di Indonesia telah bergabung bersama kami di studio CNBC Indonesia, Chief Representative for Shimizu Corporations, Jakarta Office, Mr. Akiyama Kohe. Mr. Akiyama, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you for your introduction. Yes. Thank you for coming and focus on Infrasi and Business Indonesia. So, tell us what projects are being um, done and being worked on by Shimizu Corporations currently in Indonesia. Okay. Uh, currently, about the civil infrastructure project in Jakarta MRT project, phase two extension from uh, Bandara Hai to, to the Kota. And the, in Sumatra, uh, Asahan Hydro electric power plant in North Sumatra. Mm. About the building project in the city center, Mega Kuningan, Tokyo Brands apartment, or Peak Panda in the Kapok ADR project, and the several Japanese factory or the one data center project in Chikarang and Karwan. Yes. Okay, wow, that's that's quite a nice number of projects you're <laughs> currently you. working on. You have been here for 50 years in Correct. Indonesia. What makes Japanese investors and construction office like Shimizu Corporation interested in building constructions in emerging markets like Indonesia? Okay, uh, two sectors there, generally. So one is a uh, uh, accord uh, direction with the Japan, uh, Indonesian government. Mm. So, in terms of infrastructure, strength up. So, like uh, MRT, like a hydropower plant, by funding uh, or a Japanese yen credit loan from a Japanese government. So, uh, to, to strengthen up the infrastructure in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Or the, especially focusing in Java, Greater Jakarta, mm -hmm. uh, accord with the uh, private sector lead development in Jakarta. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we investment from Japan and uh, our uh, Japanese builder more focusing in Jakarta, Greater Jakarta. Okay. It's a private sector. Okay, yes. wonderful. You have been here for 50 years mm -hmm. in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. That was a great accomplishment. Mm -hmm. So what are the landmark projects mm -hmm. have you done for Indonesia? So recently, MRT phase one, but the, uh, in Jakarta, or the city center Jakarta Astra International Headquarters, mm -hmm. Jalan Sudirma, Munar Astra, mm -hmm. or the... In Bali, unique wise, our uh, first big hotel, uh, Grand Hyatt Bali, in the Satwa, Bali, okay. like that, by Shimizu Corporation. Yes. <laughs> that, that's wonderful. Um, tell us, um, Shimizu Corporation projects, mm. you mentioned before, are dominantly, mostly, are still in Jakarta in, and in Java area. Mm. What is actually the reason? What I understand the... Uh, uh, 60% of Indonesian population and the economy uh, focused and gather up in Java Island. Mm -hmm. And especially Greater Jakarta is a center of the economy in Indonesia, as we all know. So compared with the other island, and the, we, the Shimizu Japanese farm, are mostly effectively focusing in Java, especially Greater Jakarta. I think that's our main reason. Okay, because there's a great population Correct. and there's a lot number of growth, there's a lot of potential for Jakarta and Correct. Java area. Okay, how do you assess the investment climate for mm. construction sector in Indonesia? Has it been good? What needs to be improved? Tell us. I see. Uh, general direction by Indonesian government, President Pajoko, direction these 10 years. Uh, as we know, the, uh, his main the direction is uh, strengthen up the infrastructure. So generally in construction industry, these 10 years, five years are uh, quite growing, uh, generally uh, healthy-wise uh, growing up. But uh, recently, especially regarding the uh, presidential, presidential election. Mm. So we construction market uh, directly related with, uh, for example, property sector. Mm. So property yeah. developer, or yeah. development, uh, property developer, uh, basically wait and see uh, these one to two years because of the presidential election. But on the other hand, uh, towards the uh, Kalimantan, Ikaen, yeah, Ikaen, new capital city, yeah. location, relocation. 
that movement uh, push up the uh, uh, construction industry generally. Mm. I be I I watch it. Out. So yes. political stabilizations and uh, lots of room for improvement for infrastructure projects. Correct. Just what you have in only not only in Jakarta and mm -hmm. Java but also IKN. Correct. How is your opinion about IKN, sir? Oh, I see. We uh, Japanese farm means that we are foreign farm. Yes. So I understand that IKN is uh, now initial initial stage for the uh, basic. Infrastructure stage. Mm. So, uh, from uh, uh, last two years, two years ago, towards uh, this in year Independence Day, this is the de definitely initial stage to be set up a uh, basic infrastructure, included a presidential facility or some major ministry facility, and the road and access or bridge or whatever. So, now initial stage like that, uh, government to lead and uh, put in the money uh, by their own state-owned money and the con construction by state-owned contract yeah. <laughs> doing. <clears throat> so like us, Shimizu, foreign um, firm and the construction and the foreign investment party are now uh, carefully watching it, this initial stage, frankly say. Okay. So, but uh, uh, we are very interesting about the EKM, how to growing up, and the uh, maybe probably second or third future stage uh, together with uh, foreign investment yeah. movement, we foreign construction arm also. Okay. For the, so for the first phase, you will be watching how is the progress. Correct. And obviously very interested for the next and upcoming progress Correct. of EKM. Correct. So if we're um, talking about constructions from um, Japanese firms mm -hmm. or Japanese construction in general, it, it always comes up in our mind that it must be the highest of quality. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So tell us your recipe for that and what other benefits can you offer beyond high quality for construction projects, especially if any other Indonesian projects wants to collaborate with you? Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, yes, exactly. We have a pride in our high quality. Uh, but we can offer more than to exceed the client's expectation. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, in terms of uh, advanced technology, mm. we Japanese firm apply uh, advanced technology and the innovative construction method to ensure the quality and durability of the buildings. It also helps to make the construction process faster and more efficient. And the Second thing uh, uh, about uh, professionalism and uh, reliability. We are professional builders, so clients can rely on us to complete project in time, on time. Mm, yeah. And uh, within the, their budget. So time control and the cost control, budget control. This is our strong point. Yes. We like uh, uh, Japanese builders. Okay. Another thing. We are more cautious and uh, not touching on the environmental friendly. Mm. So this is a wild trend. And the, of course, we often incorporate green technology mm -hmm. and the green design in our project to contribute to uh, environmental sustainability. sustainability. Okay, that's okay. great. So high quality, punctuality of work, Correct. progress, and also ESG factor yeah, plays an important role of how can you um, offer more than just uh, more benefits for your clients. That's right. So Mr. Akiyama, talking about the current um, demand for construction mm. projects in Japan, is it still dominating compared to um, other projects undertaken abroad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the answer is yes. But the Shimizu Corporation's uh, current global operation outside of Japan covers only 10% of revenue at the moment. Mm. But we are aiming to expand to 25% by 2030. Mm. So, and Indonesia for us uh, would be the most focused country mm. among our Shimizu all over global operations. Any reason for that? Why Indonesia in particular? Ah, yes. Uh, Indonesia, as I say, Indonesia is a quite high potential. Mm. This is what number one reason. Okay. Second thing, for 
like us, Japan, Japanese firm, between Indonesia and Japan are quite close relationship in terms of uh, historically, in terms of uh, economic wise. So uh, we Japanese are uh, quite feel uh, loved uh, close a relationship country. High notes, yeah, yes. the sign and notes. Yes, Indonesia. correct. And the, yes, of course, we Shimizu Corporation has a, a half century of uh, history here, 50 years. 50 years. Yes. So we focus on, on the uh, more Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. not only in China or uh, United States. We, our direction, we focus in more Southeast Asia, especially in Indonesia. Mm, wow. So such a, based on the s several reasons, we most focusing country is uh, Indonesia for us. Wow, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you for that commitment as well, for <laughs> developing Indonesia, yeah. Shimizu South Corporation. Asia. So this year marks quite a big year for Indonesian people. The election has been held two weeks ago. Um, how optimistic is Shimizu Corporation that this year's of government transition will not disrupt the investment climate, especially for construction sectors? Mm -hmm. Yeah, according to the news and report, the new government, new president, will be continue the policy of uh, now the president, Pajoko. Yeah. Therefore, I think it is safe to say that the investment environment uh, will become more active and the foreign investor will also active increase their investment once the new government and the president will be established. Mm, okay, so you've been pretty confident with that. Yes, we, 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 I feel so, yes. And hoping for more projects, especially for Shimizu Corporation in the next nice future, especially in building Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So. As the conclusions of our discussion, what targets the Shimuzi Corporation wants to achieve probably this year in 2024? Mm -hmm. And probably even want to talk about five years forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, some uh, we are focusing in this century uh, project in terms of infrastructure, MRT, next phase East West Line, or the Another private sector internet data center mm. is booming in yeah. Indonesia and continuing to boom. Yeah. National data center, yeah? As well, national, as well. Yeah. And the GAFA or uh, private sector from United States or Europe mm. is coming to set up the data center more in Indonesia. <laughs> and the another thing I'm focusing on, TOD, TOD is a development, correct, correct. Right. transit oriented development for this year or beyond another year, yes. Okay. And the, besides the project, I would like to highlight that this year marks the 50th anniversary since the launch of Shimizu Jakarta operation. This is a big milestone for us. Mm. So during the past 50 years, we have been seriously working on both civil infrastructure and building project mm. in Indonesia. And feeling honored we could contribute even part of the development of Indonesia. So we Shimizu Corporation will continue the same for another next half century and more. So we hope that we can become an essential company for the people and the country of Indonesia. Thank you so much for being the partners of Constructions for beautiful landmark buildings all over Indonesia. We wish you great success and we wish you great help, Mr. Akiyama. Thank you so much for joining us in CNBC Indonesia. Thank you so Arigato much. Gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu.